But I think we have to be very careful that we don't turn our lives into something that is not easily understood by ourselves. Mm -hmm. In other words, we have to be careful that we don't make the transformations of our nature, physical and biological, um, as well as mental and psychological, into something that we, that's more akin to magic. And I think, for my own life, life has something to do with the given conditions of my life and my operation within the world to try to express the excellence of my capacities to the degree I'm capable of doing so. And it's within that frame that, that my meaning emerges in part. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I don't want to make this too, too abstract, but, but it, 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 you, if you go to something like sports, we can easily imagine biotechnological interventions in sports that would make you better at something in the sense that you could run faster or jump higher or something, but it might vitiate the whole meaning of sports and the way it plays for the individual life and the social collective of the sports events. And that gives a sort of frame of why it's human beings are not merely products, they are actual processes. They have purposes that are played out in the way they live their lives. I, I guess I'm, I'm willing to say that I think the purpose of life in the broadest sense is this, kinds, this kind of experientially based ascent toward a, a, a deeper and more profound, what you might call magnification of soul, an expansion of self to, in a way that is consistent with the deepest possibilities in the created order.